Coming up on KX News at 10, a tragic ending to the search for a missing baby. And there will be a little more law enforcement on the roads this week and all month. We'll tell you why. Plus, with the heat also comes severe weather. Heidi will give an update on the forecast. Putting North Dakota first. KX News at 10 starts now. Thanks for watching KX News at 10. I'm Becky Farr. Malik has the night off. A Williston man is dead after he was thrown off his motorcycle around 4.30 this afternoon. In tonight's top story, the 49-year-old was driving westbound on 35th Street Northwest, just eight miles north of Watford City. According to the McKenzie County Sheriff's Office, the rider failed to negotiate a right-hand curve and crossed into the eastbound lane. The motorcycle drove off of the roadway and crashed into a wire fence. The man was transported to Spring and Funeral Home. And the search for a missing four-month-old baby in Stutzman County tra ended tragically today. In new developments, authorities say he was found dead near Woodworth. Searchers have been scouring sloughs around the area since yesterday. Then at 2.30 today, the Stutzman County Sheriff's Office found the boy's body south of Woodworth. Throughout the day, authorities used scent-specific dogs and airboats to find the boy. People also combed through the land on ground. Crews focused on an eight-mile area near Woodworth and Buchanan. This is where the farmer picked up the boy's mother, Justice Lang, just yesterday. Both the mother and baby were reported missing on Monday. During today's search, authorities found multiple pieces of clothing. Yesterday, they discovered a pickup and a car seat. And from the beginning, searchers knew it was unlikely to find the baby safe. There are currently no charges against the mother, but she is being held on outstanding warrants. The KX Storm Team is also tracking the potential weather, or potential severe weather rather, in our region tonight. Let's turn back to Heidi, who's keeping us ahead of the storms. Heidi, how's it looking? Well, right now, Becky, it's not too bad out there. The main threat's going to be more so for overnight. And uh, those storms are going to start to initiate right around midnight. So therefore, we do have a newly issued severe thunderstorm watch, basically for the southern half of the state, down there into the south central and southwestern parts of the area. And you can see here, this does go until 6 a.m. central time. So it's it's going to be a long duration storm, but not as bad as events as we've as we've been seeing. But here we go. Here we can see that satellite and radar now already approaching uh, the very southwest corner of North Dakota, and this will continue to digress, but we're not going to see those severe storms just yet. So what's what are our impacts going to be? Well, we're talking around golf ball size hail and wind gusts around 65 miles per hour, as well as heavy rains, uh, tornadoes and extremely low risk in this case, which is good news. But I'm going to have your full weather forecast coming up in just a few more minutes. Thanks, Heidi. Well, North Dakota reached widespread 90 degree temperatures today and everyone was feeling the heat. With some areas in the state feeling like 100 degrees, the best place to be was at the water park. Paramedic Tanner Arthod says the ambulance service gets a number of calls this time of year due to heat exhaustion. He says the best thing anyone can do is to keep hydrated, especially if you're not used to being outside in this heat and humidity. The first thing that happens is if you don't stay hydrated enough, your body works a lot harder. You might sweat a lot more. Just, just your body's natural way to cool itself down. Mm -hmm. And if you aren't hydrating yourself enough, then you are going to be losing a lot of fluid. And then that's when we start seeing people passing out and just becoming really tired and weak. Our thought notes staying indoors is not a bad option either. And he urges people not to overexert themselves outside on days like today. And a reminder from the National Weather Service to look before you lock. The hot and humid conditions today will lead into tomorrow, causing dangerous heat, in dangerous heat index values. On days like today, never leave a child or a pet unattended in a vehicle, no matter how short the time, and double check before you lock your doors. And North Dakota law enforcement agencies are reminding motorists in the state that there will be extra patrols out on the roads to enforce the Click It or Ticket campaign. From July 1st through August 12th, they will be strongly enforcing the state's seatbelt law. According to North Dakota law enforcement, wearing a seatbelt is the most effective way to protect against a serious injury or death when traveling in a vehicle. In 2017, an unbelted vehicle occupant died in a motor vehicle crash in North Dakota every seven days. And happening today, the North Dakota Highway Patrol is conducting a DUI checkpoint and alcohol saturation patrol in Botno County. Officers are trying to meet their goal of zero motor vehicle fatalities and serious injuries on North Dakota roads. 
Through June 26th, just over 17% of North Dakota's 33 fatal crashes have been alcohol related. Well, if you're from in or around Bismarck, you know this local nonprofit. It began as one man's mission to give back. Now, as Renee Cooper reports, the community is taking the opportunity to return the favor. In 2009, Mark Meyer quit his job to open Heaven's Helpers Soup Cafe. I had a good job, but um, there was just more to life than um, what I was doing. His mission is to provide an environment open to anyone where they can feel respect and join the community over some of the best chow in town. It's a labor of love. You know, because, you know, when Mark makes the food, he's just not throwing stuff to get, you know, and, you know he's, he's actually putting his heart into it. And you can, you, you can taste it. Meyer met his wife, Mary, when she also quit her job to dedicate her time to the kitchen back in 2013. I just felt like there was some, something missing, and um, I knew I wanted to uh, do something that made a difference in people's lives and make people feel important and let them know somebody cares about them. The duo was honored this evening in front of a Saturday night baseball crowd. It's humbling because I know there's a lot of deserving people out there, but it's really, you know, something that, you know, we just do every day and without trying to get attention. Most of us have childhood sports heroes, but it's not often the everyday heroes get recognized. Thanks to the Larks, along with Shields and Bismarck Magazine, the Myers are being honored as hidden hometown heroes. I think someone that just is doing something for the community and not expecting anything in return has got to be a hero in my book. They were cheered onto the field following the fourth inning tonight, showing us all kindness and community dedication does stand out. Renee Cooper, KX News. The Myers say there's no way they could keep the cafe going without the work of volunteers like Peterson. If you have a couple of hours to spare some time, find out how to reserve a volunteer spot by visiting our KX News website, mynd.now.com. Motorcyclists honor the victims of domestic violence and sexual assault today with a ride to remember. According to the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence, one in three women and one in four men have been victims of physical violence by an intimate partner in their lifetime. Last year, the Minot Domestic Violence Crisis Center provided 3,800 safe nights for local victims. It costs $40 a day to house someone at the shelter, and this ride can now help them with those everyday costs. Just getting out for a nice ride on a nice day and raising some money for good cause. The numbers are rising um, in our shelters, so we do need the help. The motorcyclists made multiple stops from Minot to Glenburn and back to raise awareness for the issue. Coming up on KX News, as we deal with the heat, wildfires continue to sweep through the west. And Elon Musk gets involved to help the trapped soccer team in Thailand. Plus, Heidi's Talking Heat tonight will be right back. 